and welcome to the Morning Star series Market Reaction. I'm Emma Wall and I'm joined today by Vanguard's Alexis Gray to talk about central bank policy in Europe. Hello Alexis. Hi. So yesterday we had the ECB meeting and it wasn't a surprise that the ECB decided to hold rates and not make any decisions about QE. But one of the things they did talk about, they did flag, was the euro. Why is the ECB concerned about the euro? The reason that the ECB is concerned about the euro is that it's been gradually strengthening against a basket of other currencies, including the US dollar this year. So you have a five factors that influence financial stocks. What's the first of these? Yeah, there are five questions on everyone's mind. The first question is what is going on with interest rates? Congratulations to Fidelity on behalf of Nitten for winning outstanding rising talent of the year. Well, I'm delighted at the age of 50 to be collecting a rising talent award. Uh, typical of Nitin, though, he's off researching companies around the world for his portfolio. So, Trail Commission was a percentage fee, typically around 0.5%, paid to advisors and to fund platforms by fund providers. It was taken out of the annual management charge, and so to many investors, it was as if they were receiving a free service, or at least it made it very difficult to determine how much you were actually paying for the service. Would you rather have £100,000 now or £150,000 in 10 years' time? Uh, I'd rather have it now. And why is that? Uh, invest in it and then uh, hopefully get in greater returns than the 50000 in 10 years' time. 100 now. £100,000 today. I think a hundred thousand is much better. So I'd probably just get the hundred K now and I wouldn't know where I'd be in ten years, so I could probably use that now. I'd take the big amount now. You don't know what the future holds. And I hate to interrupt you, but my bus is coming. That's fine. And you very much became the face of that campaign, but it was a wider group of people, wasn't it, behind that? Perhaps you could tell us about how they came it, together. It was very interesting, this idea that I put myself up as being, um, you know, the, the, the face and seeking publicity, etc. So on the Six, so 19th of July, there were six cases that went before Lord Leveson and he chose me as the uh, lead claimant and my case for two reasons, actually three reasons I think. One is we were very, very careful to make our case a back letter of the law. We did not involve any political statement in our case. It was purely a constitutional case. To your point, that shows how laughable it is even trying to predict what the market, how the market will react to a political event. Well, political or economic, really. I, I just think that, that we have this event overload and people, even if they get the event decision right, they probably don't get the consequences of that right. So Brexit was a great example um, where, in fact, the markets fell for two days and then broadly just went up.